Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and today we're going to be starting a commission from the start and finishing it. Now, I got this idea off of Row Builder, of course, well, he's like my favourite YouTuber, so like, why not? Uh, but, you know, it, you know, I, I wanted to do something, but uh, yeah, so we've got, we've got this, um, I built it yesterday, uh, and I done some of the modelling for everything, I, and he thought it was all free models, because I... Look, they're all mesh, like, well, maybe not all mesh, but like, look, they're all meshes that I made. So, what is this? What is that? I did not put that in here, so I think he's started to script the game already. Yeah, he's probably already started to script it. Why is there a bunny inside of Starter GUI? I'm sorry, but that... That is not no bunny. I'm sorry, that is not a bunny. Good thing I'm making pets for this game, otherwise that would have been the bunny. Well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna try finish this today. If we don't, then there'll be a part two. Probably will be a part two, but so what? I mean, I don't care. <laughs> I have nothing else to do. See, I don't, I don't know what he script. Jeez, the map's a bit big, scaled. Um, okay, I did not scale this properly. Oh no, that means this map's not gonna be very full, is it? <laughs> look, I'm terrible with my scaling. That is just terrible. Look, look at how big the portal. Actually, I might keep the portal the same size. I don't know, because there'll be like multiple. Um, he might pay me extra to do like more uh, areas. He's only paying me 300 for the map and then oh, an extra 150 for the pets, which I'll be I'm fine with. So you know, time to just scale all of these down. Come on, grab this one here, and I think there's a few more just in here. I don't know. Uh, I think there's just one, but we don't need to worry about that. We can now just scale this all down. Okay, well, great. That's not exactly what I wanted to do. Because um, I scaled it so terribly. I now have to try center this again, which is pretty easy. I'll center it towards this, and then we'll center everything afterwards, because I think these walls... I'm gonna need a little bit of an an upgrade because they're not like looking the best at the moment. Of course, I kind of rushed it yesterday, but that doesn't matter. I've now got all of this, and now we're gonna use some more Archimedes to, you know, get all the way over to the portal. So go to plugins, launch Archimedes, and of course we're not gonna do minus ten. We're gonna do ten, so we can go into the, that one, and then this one here will be minus ten. Oh, I know what how is it going that okay I don't know but you know there'll be two extra portals that way I guess and this one's just a zero and it goes all the way in there so yeah now we have all of that uh, we are definitely going to add some like maybe waterfalls over here uh, going into like some water I don't know what I'm gonna do with the water because I want to make it curve but then if we use parts of water it doesn't actually curve it, which is a bit hard to do. So I feel like I might just use Archimedes and then negate all of those parts and then turn them into, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. I'm gonna quickly do that now and probably go from here all the way over to the other side. So I'm gonna go like, like that. Now I'm going to use Archimedes. Probably better if we do it like this, and then... And yeah, now we're going to do like maybe... 10, 15 maybe? I don't know. I don't I know if that's not going to work. 
to definitely a 10 then. <laughs> nope, can't use that. Uh, we're gonna do for maybe a 5 though. Because I want it to sort of curve around to go underneath that shop. Yeah, just like this. Boom, we now have all of these. Uh, we're gonna select the last part that I inserted, which would be this one. Do there, hold shift and go over there. Now we have all of those just to make sure that, that is it. I will scale it down, and yes, that is just that. I shall now union it, negate it. Boom, we now have that. I would definitely have to go like this and bring it up. And I like push it down as well. I could have just held control and done that, but I'm lazy. I'm now gonna do this. Union. Boom, we now have that going through the middle. And now we're gonna use a uh, part to uh, water. And that should look really nice. So, wherever. Just put it like there. Yeah, that'll be perfect. And then just size it up like that. Do this. We might animate it as well uh, to make it look a lot better. We now have that, which would be the water. Go into plugins, part to water, cartoon, advanced, animatable. And there we go. We now have a bunch of water there. I'm definitely going to change the color. I need to get the water first. Now we're gonna change that color to layer one, is it? It'll be layer three. <coughs> okay, electric blue looks really nice. So we're gonna keep it like that. Now we're going to join the game and see how it looks. Of course, it might be lagging for you. And yes, it is actually animated. Um, but yeah, now we'll carry on, you know. Uh, so I'm probably going to work on a fountain next. I don't know. We might leave that for a next episode. But I definitely do want to work on the eggs, which will be like over here, maybe. I, I already have some egg models, but I feel like we're going to redo them just because this is... They've paid me to do something using new assets not been used in previous games so let's open blender blender is now open so we can uh, continue making a bunch of stuff i feel like we're gonna quickly work on the stand that it will be used on so let's bring this down uh we'll, uh, bring this down to like here extrude s extrude again um extrude s uh, yeah, that's looking pretty nice, but then I do want to Inset maybe Have this just coming out Which will have the egg on and then we'll have another inset That's inside like that. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. We now have that all done. I think we're gonna texture it though uh, So yeah, I'll be back once I've textured it if you want to learn how to texture, then just go to my previous videos on Blender, and you will see. Okay, so I'm done texturing. This is how it's turned out. I've also added this bit so they can put the price on there, and I've added this bit at the bottom. I'm now going to shade smooth, just make it look nice and all good like that. Uh, now I'm going to move that out of the way and just quickly make an egg, and then, yeah, then we're all done with this. Of course, the eggs are extremely easy to make, because... Uh, all it is is just a UV sphere and then yeah UV sphere proportional editing and pulling up that's all it is <laughs> so of course I usually go 12 segments and eight rings because uh, it makes it look really nice and it's not too many uh, triangles and stuff 
So now we're gonna click on Z. We're gonna no not no not minus Z. Don't want no upside down. Oh wait. Let me select all of these probably from here and right there. And now we're gonna click on Y. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go up and boom. We now have an egg. Of course, shade smooth and boom. The egg is all done. Scale it up just to where it looks nice on top of here. Yep, that looks nice. And now we're going to click File, Export, Export OBJ Legacy Selection Only. Uh, so then we have the uh, egg stand uh, and document, of course, because where else am I meant to put it? Uh, export OBJ Legacy, and we're just going to do egg. Oh, wait, no, that's already a name. Egg mesh, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and now we're gonna go back into Roblox Studio and we are going to go onto here, click uh, Asset Manager, and we're gonna click on Meshes. Uh, instead of doing it twice, we just select both ones that we need. So we go, um, Egg Stand and Egg Mesh. Boom, we click Open, Apply All, and then they're now in importing. Uh, we're well not importing, but they're now inside of the recently added section. Now we insert. Now we have both of them. For some reason, my studio is lagging a bit. Uh, don't know why. But now we have that. We're just gonna uh, size this up. Not too big, just so uh, like there. Of course, the eggs gonna be need to be sized up. To like there of course this is going to rotate it uh, to where you can see that and I need to import a rig I keep forgetting but uh, you know we need to do this uh, block avatar and jeez I overscaled everything still the paths are fine I guess the river is fine, I guess. They can be big, uh, but then this, th everything's just too big. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna copy the position of this and put it inside of the egg. Position, uh, take this position. Uh, then we're gonna bring that up. And uh, now it's directly in the center of this. Get it up a bit, and now we're gonna control G. We're gonna go into name and do egg one, and then yeah, now we have that. I need to scale it down though, because it's just too big. I'm gonna scale it down to where I think would be perfect. Still a bit big. Scale it down to like there. I'm probably gonna add a highlight into here. Actually, just just to, just because highlights are just so buggy at the moment, I think I'm just gonna shifty this. It's no point in just shifting, but you know, may as well. Uh, and now I'm gonna click tab A, and I'm just gonna go like that. And it's now. Wait, I had proportional editing on. We now have a weird egg upside down but we're just gonna keep it upside down because there's no point in changing it and nope I do not want to export it like that because Roblox doesn't accept it uh, like that and then uh, now we have a flipped egg mesh now we're just gonna import 3d just because it's so much easier to do that uh, we're gonna click on wherever it is uh, we found it I don't know if I spelled flipped right, but I think I did. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, yep, that is how it's meant to look. Uh, my, why does it keep lagging? Okay. It's on my nerves now. Okay, control U. So I'm gonna size it up just to where it's the correct size. And I'm also going to change it to black.
I could just copy the size of this. And copy the position of this as well. Of course, we're going to have to size up the weird egg as well just like by a little bit just to where you can actually see the outline now we're going to click control x and now we're going to click uh paste into an original location oh, wait what what's going on no i need to click paste into our original location and then boom we now have an egg around the right size maybe scale it up just a little bit and now we have an egg and oversized everything you know we'll just scale everything down afterwards now we have those scaled right i will now if you ask me to texture the eggs i will but at the moment i'm just going to uh copy 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 Okay, yeah, that's looking pretty nice. I've layouted them all like this. I'm gonna just rotate, 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 rotate. And now we have all of these good looking eggs. I think that's gonna be it for today's video. I might do a part two, might not, uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one, bye bye. <laughs>